The Washington University and Barnes Jewish Transplant Center in St. Louis, Missouri began doing transplants in 1963, the first being a kidney transplant surgery. Having performed over 5,000 kidney transplant surgeries, we're energized to see the number of lives impacted by organ donation and transplantation. Approximately 36,000 people join the wait list for a kidney transplant each year, and there are more than 100,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant. The Washington University and Barnes Jewish Transplant Center works hard to help patients find the life-saving transplant they need. We work closely with patients from evaluation to transplantation and continue to walk alongside each patient to make sure they remain healthy for the extent of their life. While dialysis is currently keeping you alive, transplant surgery can afford you a longer and healthier life. We understand that the idea of transplantation can sound overwhelming and intimidating. With the evaluation process, waiting for an organ, transplant surgery, and then the commitment of taking care of your organ. But our team is here to walk beside you every step of the way to help you see a healthier life and more years to come. It is our honor to help patients navigate out of renal failure and into a life of new opportunities, extended life, and the ability to make memories with the ones you love and accomplish all of the dreams you strive for. Through your entire transplant journey, you will have a transplant nurse coordinator with you to guide you through each step. After transplant, you will always have a coordinator to answer your questions and help you maintain a healthy organ. In order to qualify for kidney transplant, someone must have irreversible kidney disease or end-stage renal disease. Most patients approaching ESRD or end-stage renal disease begin to develop symptoms of kidney failure. Patients with worse than chronic kidney disease may also qualify for transplant. Your evaluation process for kidney transplant will include quite a bit of testing as we want to make certain that transplantation will improve your life and not make it worse. We consider the health of your whole body and not just that of your kidneys when determining if you are a candidate for transplant. Tests that will be required include such things as blood tests, radiology testing, which may include things like a chest x-ray, a dental x-ray, and a CAT scan of your abdomen. Cardiac testing. Everyone will have a stress test or an echocardiogram to make sure that your heart is healthy enough for transplant. Lung testing may be ordered if you have any lung conditions or a long history of smoking. This is done to make sure that your lungs are healthy enough for transplant surgery. Cancer screening tests are routine tests as well, things such as a mammography or colonoscopy. You'll also have a physical exam with a transplant nephrologist. This would be similar to an appointment with your primary doctor. They will review your testing, your medical history, and do a physical exam as well. A referral to a specialist may be required based on your medical history or your test results. Once your evaluation is complete, your results will be reviewed at our multidisciplinary team meeting. Results from your evaluation testing and consultations are reviewed. There are a few possible outcomes of this discussion. You are added to the wait list for kidney transplant. You need to complete additional testing in order to make a decision about candidacy. Or your evaluation demonstrates that transplant is not the best option for you and you are not a candidate to be listed at our center. You will be informed of the team decision by your coordinator. If you are approved to be added to our waiting list, your transplant coordinator will discuss next steps for staying active on the waiting list until you receive your life-changing transplant. Our team does our best to find a viable organ that is a match for you. There are some options for kidney transplant patients in regards to the types of organs that may be available to them for transplant. Deceased donor. One option is receiving an organ from a deceased organ donor. This is a kidney you receive when someone chooses to donate their organs upon death. On average, a deceased donor kidney transplant is expected to last 10 years. Some last much longer. Because this donor comes from an individual that has passed, your call to come in for a deceased donor kidney transplant can happen any day of the week and at any time of the day. The average wait for a deceased donor kidney transplant is two to five years, but can vary depending on your blood type, where you live, 
and number of previous transplants. Another option is a kidney from a living donor. Living donation is when a kidney comes from a healthy volunteer who wishes to donate one of their kidneys to a family member, a friend, or even a stranger. On average, a living donor kidney transplant is expected to last for 15 years, but often many last much longer than that. The living donor would also go through a thorough evaluation process to ensure that they are healthy themselves to donate a kidney. They will also undergo some testing to see if they are a match for you. You and your living donor have the luxury of scheduling this transplant around your schedules at a time that is most convenient for both of you. Kidneys from living donors offer potential benefits, including reduced risk of delayed organ function, increased quality of life, and a transplant can last longer, shorter waiting time, shorter hospitalization, possibility of planned preemptive transplantation, and the ability to undergo preoperative special treatment called desensitization if you need it. It's important to note that living donors don't pay for their evaluation testing or their surgery and recovery. These costs are paid by the CPN's insurance. Many of the required testing can be completed where the donor lives. There are several options if your donor is not a match for you. A third exchange can take place when an intending living donor is not compatible for the recipient, yet the donor is still willing to donate to someone else in a similar situation so that the recipient will still receive the life-changing transplant that they need. Through a paired exchange program, your donor can give to another recipient and you can receive a kidney from a different living donor who matches you. Once you find a living donor, your transplant center will discuss all of the options available to you that will lead to the best outcome for you and your donor. As you may know, Paired kidney donation involves matching one incompatible donor-recipient pair with another incompatible donor-recipient pair. Other strategies also include more complex chain donation or non-directed donation strategies to match multiple incompatible donor-recipient pairs. There have been significant clinical advancements, including innovation in surgical procedures and the development of effective immunosuppressive therapies that have made improvements over the last 50 years in patient and transplant survivals. An increasing number of kidney transplant recipients who are living for many years require specialized long-term medical care, not only for the maintenance of their transplanted organ, but also to address the comorbidities and complications of lifelong immunosuppression regimens, as well as to ensure their overall health, well-being, and quality of life. As mentioned before, our team will follow you for the entirety of your life to help you navigate the post-transplant life and staying healthy. There are a number of misconceptions when it comes to who may qualify for a kidney transplant. Let's walk through some of those now. Age. There are no age limitations for transplantation and how old you are will not determine if you can get a transplant. Having hepatitis B or C or HIV. In the past, if you had any of these diagnoses, this would exclude you from being a candidate for transplant. Our center is able to provide such patients consideration for transplant. Smoking tobacco. Smoking tobacco products does not exclude you from being considered for transplant unless you have significant vascular or lung disease. Smoking cannabis. Smoking various forms of cannabis does not mean you will not be able to have a transplant. The only time that may be an issue is if you have recurrent respiratory infections or lung disease. A history of cancer. A past cancer diagnosis does not mean you cannot get a transplant. Most patients will need to be in remission for a specific amount of time before being considered. We have transplanted many patients who once had cancer. The use of calcium emetic medication. Using medications such as sinicalcid or elecalcitide does not eliminate your chances of being considered for transplant if it is with controlled PTH of less than 500. These are the most frequent questions we hear from patients who assume transplantation may not be an option for them. 
We understand that every patient's medical history and conditions are different. We take that into account as we go through each step of the evaluation process to ensure transplant is the right decision for you. If it is determined that you are in need of a kidney transplant, our team is dedicated to providing tools to help you get an organ donor. We provide information on steps you can take to talk to your loved ones about your need for a kidney transplant or even to share your story publicly. We help you work through making the ask and even provide tools to share your story on social media. At the Washington University and Barnes Jewish Transplant Center, we have a team of physicians and healthcare providers who are top experts in their field. Their expertise means that our transplant center has excellent outcomes, consistently better than the national average, which means that your transplant has a great chance of lasting a very, very long time. Through innovative monitoring, we are able to detect changes to your kidney even before you feel sick or know there is a problem. Early detection and treatment means extended life for you and your transplant. Performing more than 300 kidney transplants each year gives us a depth of experience not seen at any other transplant center in our region. Despite these high volumes, each patient is given personalized care that is right for the circumstances. The Washington University and Barnes Jewish Transplant Center in St. Louis, Missouri is one of the largest transplant centers in the nation and has extraordinary transplant outcomes. We are proud to see so many of our patients live a healthier, more productive life post-transplant. Despite being one of the largest kidney transplant programs, our team of transplant surgeons, transplant nephrologists, nurse coordinators, clinical staff, nursing staff, OR teams, pharmacists, social workers, and financial coordinators are dedicated to making sure we provide each patient with attention, sincerity, and optimal care to make them feel their best.